that? Yeah, I was just thinking actually about Gurdjieff, the um, spiritual teacher Gurdjieff. Right. And he used to have amazing, from what I've read, amazing healing abilities. And what he would do is he would sit with somebody who was ill and he would take over their illness. Yes. And he would look terrible. Yeah. Then he'd go to his room, he'd lie down for 15 minutes <clears> or whatever, <throat> half an hour, I don't know how long it was. He'd come out and he was normal again. Right. And that person who was sick would be transformed. It's like trans transformed. He would like take mm -hmm. over the illness and somehow dissipate it back to the universe. Yeah, the shamans do so that. So it's, it's like, it's a very interesting process mm. about how this can be done. Um, and I guess in one way it is they're coming back to this thing of being connected. Yeah, and I think that, I think that uh, your story there of Gurdjieff really uh, kind of confirms, I wouldn't say confirms or unconfirms, I'm very careful about accepting or, or rejecting things, but it, it, it at least resonates deeply with what we were saying about maybe carrying that, that sadness for somebody away, a little bit of it anyhow, would be a good thing, I would say, I wouldn't mind it. So where are we heading on the planet, do you think, in terms of we're very, us as a human race? And I think we're very precariously perched. And I, I, I feel that it is an opportunity now, that perching, that urgency. I like it. I, like, I very much like anything that pushes uh, things into place. I love it. I, I'm sorry it has to come to that. But I really love anything that stretches me. And uh, I think this, is, this time is really stretching people. And uh, yeah, part of my work, at least my belief in what my work is, or the sense of what I think I'm doing here, um, as I said earlier, is to really uh, intensify an intention that everyone is awakening. I see a lot of people are doing that. The shamans are doing that, the bodhisattvas are doing that, the Christians are doing that, the people who are unreligious are doing that. I think a lot of people are consciously uh, putting uh, great strides and efforts into the, uh, the awakening of the planet. Have you ever heard of Bruce Lipton? Yes, I've seen some of his DVDs, yeah. I like his idea, he's yeah. real upbeat. Mm. Yeah, he's he said he'd come he'll, next time he comes to England he'll do oh, an interview. Oh, that with would us, be so. great. I think he's yeah. a wonderful man. I, I, well, he I, comes from that biology side, doesn't he? That's mm -hmm. what's interesting mm -hmm. there. We were talking before we started recording the this this kind of the, the coming together of science and spirituality. Mm. They were kind of almost two separate things, which didn't make any sense. Yeah, d that's and it. And now they're crossing make sense. over, and really, there's a lot of common ground. Well, there should be. Should be absolutely, yeah. and those things that we can't measure, we can see that yet yeah, this happens, and here's the result. Maybe you can do that again and again and again, and you may not need to know what's in between. So, when when people work with you over a period of time, what can they expect? I don't think they can expect anything uh, per se, uh, but I I feel that. Uh, yeah, I feel a lot of people, um, dare I say, well, I think it's <laughs> one thing I can dare say because I, I feel not responsible for anybody's spiritual growth. I think everybody is responsible for their own, and I'm here to remind them of that and to direct them where to go and uh, to not fall in the hole again and again and again and to inspire them and to energize their heart um, through satsang and through loving them and really caring for them. But they're going to have to stand up and walk through the doors themselves. I'm not going to do it. How can I? It's like a partnership in one way then. You, ha you mm. have a certain support, but they have to take the steps. You bet. I think we have support, we have blessings, we have grace, we have understanding, we have inspiration, we have uh, direction. There's a lot uh, in my part that I feel, by the way, very fortunate and privileged to to be able to direct anyone to their heart. I feel very pri privileged by that. Um, it's, a, it's a really wonderful work. But uh, I always tell them, you have to do it. Nobody's going to do it but you.